Hello everyone, welcome back to Nana's Apartment. We are back playing Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. I'm going to put in a cheat code right now because we will need extra lives for this. Uh, hopefully I can get this in one or two tries. If not, you might see some hefty editing. Uh, this is quite a pain in the butt as far as um, cheat codes go. It's very short screen. Um, for those wondering, it is B-A-B-A -B -A up, down, B-A left, right, B-A start. And you have to do that all the main menu screen. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, B-A. Hopefully, I don't think the left and right registered, but we're going to start off today with Leonardo. One of my dad's favorites to do, so I'm going to do Leonardo today. Um, oh, goodness, three. And then we're on stage four, I believe. Let's try that. Oh, here we go. Good. We are right back where we wanted to be. We are on scene three. Okay. So this is an exclusive level um, to the of this game. Um, this is one of those levels where, when I was playing with a cousin or a friend, this is probably routinely where we made it the furthest without cheat codes. Didn't know there were cheat codes still as an adult. And here are the foot soldiers, again! The one time the white soldiers would have, bl like, blended in, they sent out the purple ones first. You, sirs, are not efficient robots. I don't know who's running this organization. If it's Shredder, he's a fucking nitwit. Oh. Right back to the hugging. I don't like hugging in the snow. Can't imagine turtles do very well in the snow, and then they get run over. Okay, that. <sighs> okay, this is this is how this level's gonna be. Oh, don't stand on those. You'll fall down them. They are holes. Just stick away. And oh, there's snowmen now. Oh, and they have missiles. Lovely. I don't remember this at all. This is nonsense. Missiles. Oh, they're robots. Okay, that makes more sense. I was gonna say, snowmen and their missiles. I can understand why we have snow days now for school children. You don't want them robot disguised snowmen screwing up things. It's just, ugh, it's nonsense. Teachers don't know how to defend against robot, you know, snowmen. It's just... I live in Maine. I mean, sometimes they're a bit vicious, but, you know, if you bring them a candy bar and, you know, some other stuff, they're friendly. Oh! Not the white guys, the light blue guys now, I guess. What do they got? They got something they like to throw. It's... What are, what are they throwing? God knows. God knows what they are throwing. Ah, no. This is a very wintry episode we're coming into. We're in February right now, so this is actually quite apropos. Don't care for this track, but it is kind of lovely. Very whimsical. Oh, I'm just going to chew through these lives today. This level is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, look at you. Oh, just keep getting butt kicked. This is going to be a level where they don't let up. Um, the boss of this level is a, a fox in a leather jacket. Um, I don't know what the character's name is. But I just remember it's just being woefully out of place. Um, maybe it's like an arctic fox or something, but... God damn. It's just plow trucks, I guess. What, what are we going to use for enemies on this level? I don't know. Make, make them fucking fight... Plow trucks and robot snowmen. They're Ninja Turtles, after all. I mean, it's not that far-fetched. I'll give that to him. It is not that far-fetched to have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fighting a robot snowman in New York City. Just uh, another day on the town for them, I guess. Oh, more robot snowmen, and they like to bounce. Oh, fucking heavy motherfuckers, though, because inside they're made of steel. Doing so good. Not doing so good at all today. This gameplay brought to you by Domino's. I know it says Pizza Hut over there, but today it's Domino's. That's just the way of it. It's the way of it. Gotta, gotta get used to it. Fucking. It would be. One, oh god, and there's just more of them. They just keep coming. They're standing in a line off screen, just an array of missile shooting robot snowman. Alright, come on, you. Let's go up, because there's probably going to be another friggin' plow truck. Nope. Just snow. Boulders of snow. I don't know what atmospheric conditions lead to boulders of snow falling from the sky, but... New York in the 90s. Apparently, they were rife with it. So many concussions. So many unnecessary concussion. If you would like to help all those suffering from boulders falling from the sky made of snow, you may call 
Holy shit, it's a boulder made of snow. Goodness Christ. Hey, oh, here's the boss. He's already here. He doesn't even come up from the ground. He's just there, waiting. Fucking dude. He just want. Maybe this is even a bad guy. He's just setting up for like a fucking... Metal rave or something like that. And here we come to fuck up his day. But he did start... I don't know who threw the first punch. Eh. We're both to blame. Let's use our words, not our anger and fists. And in my case, katanas. I like how there's just a random floating orb right next to his shit. Is that from the show? Post below in the comments if you know. Oh, he's the one who has the, the, the boulders of snow. Got it. Stop terrorizing the citizens of New York. We had to do a pledge drive because of your bullshit. Leslie Nope was there. She was wonderful. Oh, this guy's tough. This is unnecessary tough. Ugh. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, just gonna chew up my lives. I am not gonna make it very far today. Hopefully, we can get another level in. Hopefully. God knows. Jesus. Look at him. He just fucking runs like lightning and... Damn flash over here. From Star City. Whoop. Oh, didn't get me that time with your boulder, you fucking douche. Oh! I'm gonna stab you with my fucking katanas. I know we thought this was a kid's game, but Leonardo just fucking stabbed that guy like a fucking kebab. Oh, and I blew up the fucking orb, I guess. And no longer was New York City winter. Oh, that's lovely. Spring is here. Woohoo! Oh, and then there's this level. I believe the boss at the end of this level is Baxter Starkman. The fly version. I went through way too many lives. It's good just to do that before they get in here. And we are at 60 enemies, so about 140 more will get an extra life, so hopefully this is bountiful. Ah, you sons of bitches! Get over here! We'll see how far we get today. I probably only get two levels in. The rate I'm going. We got lucky last time. That that third level isn't very hard. <laughs> the boss doesn't really hurt you at all, so... I think I got lucky. You can, lots of environmental per like interactions here. Oh, these blue guys. Get it? All the all the all the ninjas are the colors of the turtles, red and and yellow. Even though they're not a yellow turtle, there is a light blue one. Her name's Venus de Milo. If you've never heard of that, consider yourself lucky. That show was dog shit. See, basically, I want to say the arcade version of this is a lot more interesting, but the NES is just kind of like, oh, you're in a parking lot, I guess. Yeah, we may have an issue getting to this level. Oh no. I'm gonna fail. That's no cool. Alright, these guys. This is a shady goddamn parking lot. Where is everybody? Also, let's just consider the size of these cars for a second. Look at Leonardo next to this car. That is a big goddamn car. Either that or Leonardo is very goddamn small. Ooh! Oh, did, I was not expecting that. I've played this level before a couple times, but I oh, was not expecting that in the slightest. Oh, and these guys got guns. I don't have a... I, I have a sword. I don't have a gun. Ooh. We may have to do a continue on this one. I would use the jump kick more, but I am not 
very proficient at this. You there. You. See, I, I, I can change in midair, but I'm not very good at hitting the target. Is this car gonna take off? One of them are. One of these mother. Oh, I fucking called it. not doing so well here. Who said you could use guns? I mean, I know last video I said you should probably do that, but... I mean, guys, come on. Fair fights now. Fair fights. If you're gonna use guns, use like a golden deagle or something like that. One and done. Don't fucking torture me like this. Jesus, how long is this level? I had dog shit with my fucking... Jumping kicks today. Oh, kill that guy. See, it is worth doing. It is worth doing. Kids, if you're in a fight and there's an explosive barrel next to you and you, and you it's there's no chance for you winning, might as well just fucking help that thing blow up. It's, you know, why the hell not? What have you got to lose? Especially when you're up against an army of, you know, explosive robotic ninjas. Just nothing to lose. Just go for it. It's a long ass level. It just keeps going and it's not very original. Alright, Leonardo was not a good luck charm this time around. We might have to switch back to Donnie. Oh, fucking. Oh, I might not get him. Oh, Baxter, you son of a bitch! You basically have to do a sequence here of jump kicks. Oh, if I get this on my first try here. I don't know if you have a, a zero life at the end of this or not. If I do, I will be able to get this in the first try. And we'll call that a day. Here on Nash Apartment, levels 4 and 5. Fucking Baxter here. You son of a bitch. It's like the last boss. It's like his first incarnation. He is... I already get the timing down. At least for me, anyway. It's a hell of a level not to have my fucking jump kick down. It's like there's several several layers of fucking... Oh, he's blinking, anyway. Blinking. He's blinking like a son of a bitch. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually sweating. Oh, this is games in best. Oh, fucking fly piece of shit. You Jeff Goldblum-looking motherfucker. I'm gonna kick your ass. You're a copyright infringement in every way. We're gonna get sued. <gasps> oh, look at that. He's done. I, they never put that in there. That's fine. Oh, we're getting on the fucking turtle land. There we go. Fucking banging. Cool beans. Oh, she owes me one. Thank you very much, April. And thank you guys for joining us in April's apartment next time. Um, uh, <laughs> April's apartment. Well, namesake anyway. Next time we're going to see what this whole shit's about. See you next time. We love you.